Chicago sports leader. Highlights, interviews, and insight you won't find anywhere else. Brought to you by Adrenaline Athletic Training in Corona and Spoiled. Quick quality oil change in Riverside. Inland Sports hosted by Pep Fernandez. Honored by the Southern California Interscholastic Football Coaches Association, the National Football Foundation, the Inland Empire Baseball Coaches Association, and the CIF Southern Section Champion of Character. Hey, what's up, Pep? Too cool to come down here, man? Too big time now? First 15 minutes of practice, there were four fights. And it is a sunny day, and here's why. The 5 a.m. wake-up calls, helmets crack a lack in, pads popping. I mean, football season is here. We're excited about it. Training camps all over the place. And Inland Sports has got you covered for the local football season. High school, we'll talk a lot of UCLA and USC. I mean, last week we had Cody Kessler and Kenny Clark on the same show. It was amazing. And uh, we've got a lot of great guests coming up this week. We've got Heritage High School football coming up on the show. Always good. Coach Broach does a great job out there in Romo land. Aw, oh, shucks. Aw, oh, shucks. Coach Broach. And uh, we're going to have some of the guys on the show. We've also got a very exclusive interview with... 49ers cornerback Sharice Wright, formerly the San Diego Chargers. We'll talk to the pride of Colton High School here on the Inland Sports Show. We're going to talk a little Little League Baseball later in the show. And we've got, I'm really excited about this. I love messing with you, David Zink, from the Press Enterprise. We're going to have a mystery guest. And if this works, like I think it will, it'll become a weekly bit where we have a mystery guest call in. And you've got to ask them questions to figure out who it is. You just like messing with me. I do. I do. That's the truth. You, you, like, you like to think I don't know anybody. You know people. I just like to see you squirm a little bit over there. I, I just don't have, well, what do you call your, uh, your peeps, uh, your, your boys? My boys. You got your boys. I've got boys all over the place. Yeah. So I kind of came over with it because my, my kids and I played like the animal game. Like what animal am I thinking of? Well, does, does it fly? Does it have fur? Does it live in the ocean? Uh, does it climb trees? Does it have a tail? Does it walk on four legs? But I think your kids probably are better at asking those things. Like, I'm not creative enough to figure this out, bro. I'll agree with you on hopefully that. It won't yeah. be, hopefully it won't be a really long second. <laughs> You'll agree. finally just go, okay, it's... <laughs> yes. Uh, so we're going to do that a little bit later on the show. That's the end of segment two, so get ready for that. Uh, the other thing I want to mention, too, and there's a point to this story. So I was in Big Bear for a week, and Friday was kind of kind of wild. So we started in Big Bear, got up at 6 a.m., hit the road, went down the mountain to Redlands East Valley football practice. I got a very understanding wife and kids. Dropped by Redlands East Valley football practice, checked out the Wildcats, and I'm going to get to them in a second. Then we drove out to Palm Springs, and we did the wet and wild water oh, yeah. park. Great park. It was awesome. So I'm standing there in line doing my thing, and I see this kid walk by. It says, Adrenaline Athletic Baseball Academy shirt on. That's awesome. Adrenaline Athletic, proud sponsor of the Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. So the adrenaline movement taking place all the way out to Wet n' Wild in Palm Springs. And from what I understand from Leonard, it, uh, Russell over there at Adrenaline Athletic, the, it's ever-expanding. They're, they're expanding their softball program from four to six teams. But do they have the cool little, uh, like those, what do they call them? The, the sweat shirts, you know, so you don't actually sweat and it kind of cools you down. Dry fit. There you go. I knew you'd know that. <clears throat> And Spoiled, quick quality oil change here in Riverside. Now, Bill Navigato, the owner of Spoiled, is going to come in here on August 22nd. That's in two weeks. I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this does not backfire because he's going to walk in here and be like, I'm financially sponsoring this show? <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, my, name, my name is a part of this? I think we should have him bring in his two great baseball playing sons. Maybe he one in be. high school, one in college. One, I mean, uh, Luke's, Luke was turning heads at CBU, and you got you got Drew over at, uh, at Poly, and he's you know one of the leaders of that program. I mean, heck, he's got a baseball family. Well, we're excited to have him in here, 
And like I said, hopefully it works in our favor as opposed to, you know what, guys, uh, now that I see what you actually do, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> that was fun while it lasted. And, and, and I spoke to him this last week. He was trying to figure out when the hell you're going to get in there and actually get your oil change because, because you know, you need an oil change. You talk about it all the time and have yet to do it. Going up to Big Bear, going out to Palm Springs, seeing the kid in the adrenaline shirt. I'm all over the place. Your oil must look like peanut butter at this point. Yeah, I'll have Greg Google that. <laughs> See what that means. <laughs> but I did go by Redlands East Valley football practice on Friday morning. If you're watching us live and amplified all over the world on the Inland Sports YouTube channel, you can see a picture of one of my favorites, Coach Bruick. And now, listen, I, I like Coach Bruick. I like him even more because I'm standing there and he, he looks at my shorts and he's like, I got those shorts. Did you get those at Costco? <laughs> I'm like, uh, probably. I don't really buy my own clothes. I think my wife maybe picked them up at Costco, which I don't really like her going to Costco because it usually ends up being a huge bill. It's and a $300 it, store. Oh, it's not good. And, but Coach Brooks like, you know what? I've got those, and I know they're from Costco, and they're very comfortable. And I was like, you're right on, on all those. So Were his kicks really clean? Because he always has the cleanest shoes on the sideline. You know what? I wasn't looking, but I'm sure. He's he, like the, I, I'm going to he say was, he's probably the best-dressed coach in the Inland Empire. He's very put together. He, he rocked the red pants, I think, uh, at some of those games. He did. So I mean, He's not afraid of fashion. He's very fashion forward. But I will say this. So it's only training camp. And I went out there and I tweeted this out. I've been to a lot of football practices. USC, UCLA, Fresno State, 49ers, Chargers. I've been to a lot of football practices. I felt like Redlands East Valley was working with like a D1 college program. I mean, it was crisp. It was on time. It was fast-paced. It was up-tempo. You would think the first week of practice would be maybe a little sloppy, you know, guys dragging. No, they were crisp. I think they obviously know what's in front of them because the target's on their back now. They went from winning a championship to, which he said, it's harder to defend that championship as opposed to being coming from out of nowhere. It's impossible. But they'll try to beat the impossible. They look good. Armando Herrera, Chris Vaughn, C.J. Harris, my boy Joey Harmon, Mateo Biscotti. I could go on and on and on here, but I'm just saying, like, Red Lindsay's Valley had a very special season last year. Can they do it again? I mean, it's always tough to go back-to-back. -to -back. It's always tough for the second time. But if there's a team out there that can do it. And we can't get myopic, Pat. Be Red there's Valley. a lot of good teams in the Inland Empire. They opened their season against Chaminade in week one, um, and they play three road games. Chaminade, they've got St. Bonaventure. They always play the Seraphs in those non-league contests. They're yeah. always good games as well. And, of course, they've got the Rancho Verde in their final non-league contest. And Rancho Verde opens up the season in week zero against Citrus Hill, the battle for the bell. Man, that's, that's coming out of the gate strong. Yeah, I know. And if, it may be outside of Redlands East Valley. That could be like a CIF championship game preview right there, uh, Rancho Verde and Citrus Hill. So... We're going to have Heritage a little bit later on in the show as we talk a little more high school football, but we want to get to uh, our exclusive interview with 49ers cornerback Sharice Wright, formerly of Colton High School. And uh, a lot of Charger fans in the Inland Empire know this guy. He was there for four good seasons, but now he's up there in the Bay Area holding it down for the 49ers secondary. So uh, let's check in with Sharice Wright of the San Francisco 49ers on the one and only Inland Sports Show, Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. And welcome back to the one and only Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM, brought to you by Adrenaline Athletic Training in Corona and spoiled quick quality oil change in Riverside. And here comes the interview that everybody's been waiting for, the pride of Colton High School, Sharice Ride from 49ers Training Camp. Sharice, how's it going, man? It's going good. How you doing? I'm good. We're doing great. How, how's camp treating you right now? Training camp's always a grind, right? Yeah, it's just a grind. Daily grind, you know, long days, short nights, but it's been good. Now, how is training camp different for you this year? Now that you're with the 49ers, as opposed to the, you know, with the Chargers, do you have to get into like a different routine. Maybe you've got, you know, guys you're getting used to now, new teammates. I mean, how is this year's training camp different as opposed to previous years with San Diego? It's different in a lot of ways. It's just, you know, being around a bunch of guys that, you know, I'm getting to know. Them a bunch of, you know, guys that are getting to know me at the same time and kind of, you know, getting out of your comfort, comfort zone. You know, I try to stick to the same routine every day and, you know, following that that aspect of, uh, of you know, how I go about my days. But, you know, it's been good. We're talking with Sharice Wright of the San Francisco 49ers. And, Sharice, you had some great years in the secondary with San Diego. 
Tell me why you think the 49ers are a good fit for you now. Oh, man, just, just the opportunity of, you know, them not bringing back their two starting corners and, um, you know, them being in a, in a division, you know, where they, they're going to play against some, some good receivers every every year and just, you know, like, you know what what type what type of player they look for and how I think them really well. Physical corner, you know, who likes to be aggressive, you know, who likes to tackle, you know, and he likes to play man to man and you know, this that's what they're looking for and I'm just I'm just thankful that, you know, I'm getting to their scheme. Now I know we're still in the early days of training camp, but what have you seen from your team's quarterback, Colin Kaepernick? Because there's a lot of hype that this off season he's he's really improved and he's really taken that next step to be an elite signal caller. I mean, what have you seen as you as you're going against him in training camp? Uh, just, uh, just to me, the, the offense is a little bit different. The offense is, is little, and it's made up for him to, to be that that guy. It's not. Just hand off the ball, camp and, and, and scramble whenever you can, and, and make plays with your feet. You know the offense is set up for him to, you know, lead through his progressions and to make his throws, and you know to get get receivers open. So to me, and after game plan for him last year, and you know, being in training against him now, and I'm um, here this year, you know that, that's what you see. Different last year was just you know put three tight ends in the game and run the ball with, with Gore. Um, <laughs> let's, let's, let's spread out a little bit and you take off and, and run with, with your feet and this year's real big difference. He's running a lot less than he was last year. He, he's looking to throw the ball more. Now, Sharice, as you enter the season with a new team, the San Francisco 49ers, do you feel do you feel any pressure? Do you do you, what do you feel as in trying to make a good first impression with your new team? Because obviously, you want to go out there and make plays and show them that they made the right decision to bring you in, right? Well, I mean, that's what you want to do. You want to, you, you want to just let the game come to you for the most part and just stay focused and just handle the things that, that you can control and the things that I can control and just stay healthy. And just knowing what I got to do, knowing my assignment, and just believing, believing in myself, and knowing that you know that my defensive coordinator believes in me, my teammates believe in me to to go out there and make those plays. When you know you got people who believe in you, you know they let you just play because you are a veteran now, and you play for you know enough years in the league to where you you don't have to worry about making mistakes out on the field. You just play. And Sharice, before we let you go, uh, let's turn back the clock just for a second, and uh, let's go back to your Colton High School days. Because when you look back, <laughs> hey, there. Were... And that's almost two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but when you when you look back, I mean, man, Colton High School with Coach Strauss, there was a run there where Colton High School was just cranking out the NFL players. When you look back, I mean, that was really the golden age of high school football for Colton, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was. It was a fortunate, fortunate time for us, and you know that that we were able to to have that success, you know, and produce the way we did, and you know, get a group of guys together and, and be able to, to make it to the next level. Oh. That's just, you know, it just took took three of us to, to open up a lot of doors for a lot of other players that that came that came after us, but there were players before us that could have done the same thing if they have the opportunity if they knew you know how how to get it done unfortunately we have we have people around us that helped us with that and did the team was a great area you know we reminisce about those times uh, you know from from time to time when I talked to Aaron and Jimmy and Brad and you know those guys we still still keeping on Brad Sorensen those guys I keep in contact with them and you know we reminisce about those days and it was definitely a uh, fun time in our lives well, Sharice, I'm sure you're going to make some new great memories in San Francisco. We appreciate you taking the time to join us here on the one and only Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports 1350. Yes, thank you, guys. And welcome back to the one and only Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports Radio 1350 AM, brought to you by Adrenaline Athletic Training in Corona and Spoiled Quick Quality Oil Change in Riverside. And here comes the interview that everybody's been waiting for, the pride of Colton High School, Sharice Ride from 49ers training camp. Sharice, how's it going, man? It's going good. How you doing? Good. We're doing great. How, how's camp treating you right now? Training camp's always a grind, right? Yeah, it's just a grind. A daily grind. You know, long days, short nights. But it's been good. 
Now, how is training camp different for you this year now that you're with the 49ers as opposed to the, you know, with the Chargers? Do you have to get into like a different routine? Maybe you've got, you know, guys you're getting used to now, new teammates. I mean, how is this year's training camp different as opposed to previous years with Sports Radio 1350 and FoxSportsRadio1350.com. Now here's more with Pep on the Inland Sports Show. And welcome back to the Inland Sports Show, Fox Sports Radio 1350 AM, brought to you by Adrenaline Athletic Training in Corona. Like I said, I saw that adrenaline shirt at Wet n Wild yesterday. I got all excited. And they got some new gear there too, man. I tried to I tried to snake one yesterday. I'm a Mets fan, so I love the blue and orange together, and that's what it was. It was a blue shirt. What do you call them? The, the dry fit dry shirt. Dry fit, thank you. And it had, like, the adrenaline in the orange and baseball academy, number 27. So I could actually, we could find out who this kid was. Talking Mets. They're on fire. That's my team. Don't, don't extinguish that, man. They're running. It's due to time. Every time it's due to time. So anyway, Arlington High School guy, right? And Absolutely. I, I said a long time ago, I'm like, you know what? I can see the Mets and the Astros playing in the World Series. And, you know, this, okay, this wasn't in spring training where I just went, like, off the deep end and made this wild, bold prediction. Yes, it was like about a month into the season. Like, they got off to good starts. I'm like, you know what? Both these teams have young, good players. And the Mets have good pitching. The Astros have pretty much good players everywhere, younger players. But they develop faster than anyone thought. And now this could really happen, so. It, I, I, I just, I haven't been paying attention to the Mets, but you can't not pay attention to them now. Because they're playing great baseball. You've got to. And if you've got uh, 
if you've got local roots on that team like we do, Lucas Duda. At, at this late in the season, if you have Met fans that are still interested in baseball, you know it's a good season. And they got Yoenna Cespedes, and you're a big Seinfeld fan, yeah, so, yeah. so I'll let you drop this. It's Cespedes for the rest of us. I love it. <laughs> if you're a Seinfeld fan, we, we love Seinfeld here on this show. Yoenna Cespedes went to there, and, and Jerry Seinfeld famously said Festivus. And famously a Mets fan. He is. So there you go. He so, loved that. So you know Jerry Seinfeld's good. He's a Mets fan. He rolled that one out. I laughed. That was very good. I'll wait for Seinfeld to tweet about Duda. Yeah. Then we get Seinfeld to call up on the show and talk about Lucas Duda. How yeah, about that? That would be awesome. That would be amazing. So anyways, we're brought to you by Adrenaline. Also brought to you by Spoiled Quick Quality Oil Change in Riverside. And uh, we're going to get Bill Navigato here on the show. That's a good idea to get his sons in there. They're baseball players at Riverside Poly and Cal Baptist University. Maybe have to talk a little baseball with those guys. They turn well. heads, too, man. Great baseball players. Are they friends with Jake Marisnik as well? Uh, they know Jake, yeah. These guys got kind of a tight little circle over there. Of friends, right? <laughs> yeah. Circle of friends. That's right. That's right. You got you got boys, too. I got, Well, I just, don't, I just don't bring them out every weekend. I do. I just bring them out when I need to. <laughs> All right, still to come on the show, more high school football talk. We're going to talk UCLA football training camp. We've got a mystery guest. We'll talk a little Little League baseball and uh, some Major League Baseball guys, local guys doing big things at the big league level. So we still got a lot to get to here on the Inland Sports Show, Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. Week zero, August 28th, right around the corner. There's a lot of those, um, you call them measuring stick games, like games right out of the gate where you're going to be like, you know what, let's find out where a team stands. How good are they going to be? Is this going to be a good year? Um, so let's start with Heritage versus Great Oak. Now, we're still hoping to get Patriot on here. I'm sorry, the, the Patriot uh, from Heritage High School. And if you're watching this live and amplified all over the world on the Inland Sports YouTube channel, I got my, I'm Coach Broach, I'm the coach of Heritage, here I am. Oh, shut. Where's my guys? I told my guys to be here 11 a.m. in Riverside, and they aren't here. I told them, Pep needs you. And we're going to talk Heritage High School football because we're undefeated in the Sun Belt League. David Zink, you know how many games we've won in a row? How many? 3,517,000. <laughs> and we're going to keep that streak going this year if Brett, Jalen, and Aleva were just here in the studio on the Inland Sports Show. Oh, I think somebody's going to be running some, uh, some wind sprints uh, if, they, if they don't happen to show up. Yeah, Coach Broach confirmed them earlier this week. Coach Broach is a you man You boys of don't word. make me a liar. You know what? My Coach Broach impersonation is somewhere between, like, George W. Bush and Huell Hauser. <laughs> and I don't know yeah, why. I, mean, he, he, I gotta say this. He doesn't sound like that. Not at all. He's pretty low-key. But when I put this mask <laughs> on here in the studio, I just start talking like Coach Broach. Brett, the quarterback, he's a... He's a Twitter star. Are you on Twitter, David Zink? I'm on Twitter, Coach. Do you you do the tweeting? I tweet left and right. Oh man, so Brett's a big star on social media, and I'm real <laughs> excited about that. We're gonna we're gonna let him run. We're gonna let him throw that ball, and he might even play some defensive back this season. And uh, we're gonna try to be back in that CIF championship game to look out Redlands East Valley. And you know something you don't know about Coach Broach? He's a tennis fan. Really? Right? Heritage, Heritage played in the. Uh, in the boys' tennis finals, and he was there watching. I, I, I turned to my like, coach, what are you doing? But there was a lot of people that were there, the first time they'd ever been there. So, coach uh, watched tennis. I don't think he knew what he was watching, but he supported. He's, yes, he was supporting. That's all that matters, he was supporting. Right? And I think that the kicker for Heritage also plays te boys' tennis. I think there's a, there's a feature story there in the Press Enterprise coming. That sounds like a good sounds story. Sounds right? like a story. So, Heritage versus Great Oak, August 28th. Who you got? Oh, man, that's tough. That's really tough because Heritage... The Southwestern League is deep, and Great Oak they, really turned a corner last year. They did. They went all the way... Okay, so Great Oak, now in the West Valley Division, went all the way to the semifinals, and the West Valley Division was tough. And they were they were absolutely... They weren't sneaking by people. That's really tough. You're putting me on the spot right now. I here. am, I am. Who you got? I'm going to go... Great Oak lost a lot of guys. I'm going to go Heritage. Robbie Robinson, don't hate me. Don't hate me. <laughs> don't hate me. Who do you got? I, I'm, I'm going to go Heritage myself. I only there's a lot, there's, Let me just say this. Great Oak, great season last year. I hope they have a great season this year. A little bit more Heritage at Heritage. Ooh, look at you. Right? little football Heritage going on there. Here's they the just deal. keep reloading. Plus, they have the probably the, the, the uh, best-looking quarterback in the area. You said that's David Zink. I didn't say that. Oh, come on, man. Well, he's adjusting. He was like boy like. band good. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Really. I mean, I'm not blind. <laughs> I just 
know more about Heritage than I know about Great Oak at this point, but uh, we're going to get Robbie Robinson and the Wolfpack on the show in the next couple of weeks. And we'll and talk we'll to find him. Out. And then I, maybe I can draw like a better conclusion. I just don't know what they got. I mean, they got Demetri Felton, who's a stud. They got the heartbeat of that Great Oak defense, Schwarzer. They've got, I mean, who else have they got? I'm trying to think about it. I, I, like I said, man, I, I've been on vacation for two weeks. I'm flying blind right now. I got I got to put together a bunch of preview stuff, and I have no idea when I'm going to get that all done because I haven't even got started yet. You've been to practices. I have not to practice. Practice. I haven't even been to practice yet. So we'll, we'll, that's a great game. Great Oak and Heritage. It will be a good in game in Week Zero, August twenty eighth. Um, the Rancho Verde against Citrus Hill. Who you got? Why do you keep asking me that? I'm taking Citrus Hill. Completely unfair. I'm taking Citrus Hill. I'm telling you right out the gate. Here, okay. You know why? I know more about that chip gets bigger every year with Coach Zomal. He, they want, they want to be that championship squad. They want to be that championship squad, and they know that out the gate they got to prove themselves yet again. Well, Citrus Hill, you could say they had rev on the ropes in the semifinals last year. They did. They lost. You don't have to say that. They did. They did. Listen, they had. Really good team, but even Coach Zomal would tell you they were underclassmen heavy. They lost some great players, but a lot of guys are coming back at Citrus. Well, and Rancho Verde, a great program. It's a program in transition. We love the coach out there. He's going to do a great job, but it's, again, I, you know, I, there's still a lot of question marks with, with what's going to happen this year based on last year. They lost some great players themselves. All right, so you got Citrus Hill? I got Citrus No, I, yeah, I got Citrus Hill. Okay, I'll take the Rancho Verde. I know you will. You know why? Because you couldn't walk through your neighborhood if you didn't. You're exactly right. You'd be, you'd be, you're exact, you'd be wearing sunglasses listen, and a hat. You're, you're, ex walking. you're exactly right because I've got to walk out the driveway to put my trash out. Yeah. I've got to you walk down. I've got to walk down to the mailbox. I'm going to see Coach Jeff Steinberg every single day. And he's got a crew of kids, so he probably could <laughs> pass you, have them egg in your house. And if my house is toilet papered, I'm looking at Coach Steinberg's. <laughs> I'm going straight to his house. That's because Watkins is sneaky good. He, you just don't even know he's around. Next thing you know, your house is papered. Ted Watkins from Rainbow Valley just walking his dog, minding his own business. You're like, oh man, you know, keeps to himself. No problems here. Maybe it's him. I don't know. But I haven't been toilet papered yet, so that's good. Not yet. Not yet. But I've got the Rancho Verde then. You take Citrus Hill, I'll be combative, and I'll take the Rancho Verde just in spite of you. Sounds good. All right, how about, this isn't fair because we're all going to pick Centennial here. Centennial's opening their Pac-5 division defense against East High of Salt Lake City. Now, I, I told Angel last week, hold on, I told Angel, world-famous intern Angel last week, it's not East High from... High School Musical. He got all excited. He's like, East High? The Wildcats from High School Musical? I said, no, dude. There's lots of East Highs out there. It's from Salt Lake City, this team. In the case of Centennial, you, the, the, better, or the better conversation would be, is there a game on their, on their schedule that you could see them losing? Well, because, you, because I, I mean, really, honestly, like I've always said, it flows from Centennial, yeah. right? Starts and ends at Centennial, so... I mean, I'm not saying they, they'll win every game this year, but, I mean, you, it'd be easier to try and look and see which game is going to give them the most trouble. I'll say this. Centennial was really good last year. How good? They went to the Open Division State Championship game. And they reload again. They got, they their got everybody coming back. And, they, they, by the way, they found a guy, right, at the end of the year when J.J. got hurt, right? Oh, they, Bonner. They, yeah. They found a guy. So now they yeah, got running back. And he's not even – I don't think he's going to play running back. I think he's going to be a slot little receiver. They're gonna. I'm sure they'll probably run the football with him some too. But you know what I'm yeah. saying. It, They've got guys all over the place. They don't. They just reload, man. They've it got just dudes. keeps going. All right, we're getting close to our mystery <clears throat> guest. We're gonna need some headphones to record the audio here online. So we're getting to the mystery guest. And here's how it's gonna work. When they call in, anyone in the studio aside from myself can ask questions. Now let's not drag our feet on this. Let's be quick about it. What sport do you play? What position do you play? You should have brought your daughters in. They're play? better at this game. They play with you all the time. They would run circles around you. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good, but they, they do the animals. We, we do the animal game. But anyways, so they're going to be calling pretty quick. Uh, real quick, for like two minutes, we're going to touch on this UCLA football camp starting this Monday, Cal State San Bernardino. Local guys. Yeah, David Zink's flying the colors here in the studio. He's a big brewing guy. Good for you. Hey, you know I'm, listen, I'm not downplaying UCLA. I don't got a dog in the fight. I don't like UCLA. I don't like USC. I just, I'm indifferent. I just, just they just it, are. It was great on Dan Patrick this week. They both had Sark and Mora on because uh, they're in the LA man cave because he's here doing uh, 
uh, Sports Jeopardy, but they were all both on, and great conversation with both of them. But Mora was on first, Sark was on second, and when they got done with Sark's interview on Friday, they were all talking about who they'd rather play for, because, and everyone was going, Sark? Oh, sorry, I'll end that story. Listen, we'll finish that later. We've got to go to the phone line now, because we have a very special mystery guest. And uh, mystery guest, without revealing your identity, can you just say hello to everyone out there? Hello? Mystery guest, are you there? Mystery guest, you're on the Inland Sports Show. Or do we have any uh, mystery guest on the other end? Go around the other side. Go stand over there. Uh, let's see. Mystery guest, are you there? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, we got him now. Oh, I just gave away the first hint. It's a, it's a he, I just said him. So, mystery guest, we're having a hard time hearing you. Maybe we can crank you up a little bit more. Um, but speak nice and loud into your phone. But we've got some guys here in the Adrenaline Athletic Training Studio at Fox Sports Radio 1350 AM, and they're going to ask you some questions, and they're going to try to guess your identity. So... We got David Zink here in studio. We've got intern Nick. We've got Greg Yulate running the board. So Greetings, unnamed source. Hey, can you tell everyone hello, mystery guest? Hello. All right. How okay. Doing? We're, we're doing good. So David Zink, why don't you start rattling off some questions here? Okay. Uh, do you play football? Yes. Do you play football in Riverside County? Yes. Do you play football in Southwest Riverside County? No. Do you play football in the city of Riverside? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know what? Okay, do you play football at Norta Vista? No. Do you play football at Riverside Poly? No. Ramona? No. <laughs> I'm going down there. <laughs> and what's funny is if you're watching us live in King? Amplify, hold on, all over the world on the YouTube channel, I've got his picture up right now. It's so now everyone's laughing at you, David Zink. So, so he plays football in Riverside, but I, I haven't picked the high school yet. No. King High School? No. Notre Dame? Yes. Okay, you play football at Notre Dame. Is your name Jaden? Yes. yes. There we go. Jaden Gardner. Is that right, Jaden? That's great. Hey, Jaden, congratulations on uh, committing to uh, the Vandals. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. It was, a, it, was a, it was a pleasure yesterday when I was up there. Yeah, it was, it was great for me. And what's ironic here is, because I was talking about it when I came in this morning. You were. And then, yeah. and then last night, it was funny, Jaden, last night David Zink, we are texting back and forth, and he's like, hey, guess what? He was all excited. Hey, guess what? Jaden Gardner just committed to the University of Idaho. And I wrote him back. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm trying to downplay it because I don't want to give it so much. <laughs> Well, Jaden's mom texted me and let me know that, that it happened, and I was like, that's fantastic. Hey, good for you, man. Good for you. Well, Jaden, how special is this, being able to follow in your father's legacy and, and play at the University of Idaho? Obviously, um, he, he passed away last summer, and he was a star player for the Vandals. Um, I guess it would be back in the late 90s. Um, so what does it mean to you to now you know, put on an Idaho uniform next season? Um, it just makes it, it just makes it that more special, you know. Um, I like I like Coach Caprino and the whole coaching staff and what they have happening at Idaho right now. You know, they've been on, they're on the verge of an uprising right now in the Sun Belt Conference. You know, they've been on the down slope for here these past couple of years, but he he came in and he's been working on on getting it back up. And I I saw that immediately. And I I like his coaching staff, so you know I I said I wanted to be a part of it. And, you know, the fact that my dad played there makes it all more special. And, um, he, and um, Westlake, the linebacker there this year, who wore number 10, is graduating. So when I come in, he said I could wear number 10, my dad's number. So it just all fits perfectly. That's awesome. Good for you. You know what? How come your dad's number hasn't been retired yet? Come on now. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully I get it retired. That's exactly it. You'll finish the legacy there. Yes, yes. Well, well Jaden, uh, August 22nd, we've already booked it. Notre Dame football will be here in studio. We're going to break down the season for the Titans. So make sure you're uh, part of that group that comes into the studio. We just want to make this real quick and say congratulations, and uh, that's very special for you to go up to the Idaho Vandals. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll, be sure to, I'll be sure to be up there on August 22nd, and uh, thank you.
right, Jane Gardner, thank you for joining us here on the Inland Sports Show, Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. Davidson, can you text his mom right now and, and say, tell her we, uh, we said thank you? Because that was really cool. Yeah, that was a rough, uh, that was a rough connection. There. Well, he's in Idaho. Oh, he's in Idaho. I think he, still. I think he visited yesterday. He, he did. So I think he's still up there. I mean, yeah, that, that that's pretty sneaky, good dude. You, you totally that was that was dude. so far out of left field. Well, here's the deal. Like, you were telling me all about Jaden Gardner, and you're like, oh, we should get him on the show. And you know he he's so awesome. He should come on. And I'm here. I am over here. Because I love Jaden Gardner. I'm trying to downplay it. I'm like, oh yeah, that's yeah. We should get him on sometime. Oh, he committed to Idaho. That's cool. And I'm just trying to be Joe Cool over here in the corner. And you did a good job because I had no idea. And I have to tell you, he's an outstanding young man. I mean, it, 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 it's suffering the loss of his father a year ago, and 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 he's he's obviously any kid would struggle with something like that. But he's done done such a great job to keep his grades up. He's a big brother to it. He's got a younger brother and a younger sister, and he's been he's just been a real he's a good kid, man. I did a story on him a while back, and it's really nice to hear that. Uh, I knew that he really wanted to go there. It's really nice to hear that he's going to go there, you know, and, and that'll be a good thing. Mom's from up there, so that's how she met uh, Jaden's dad. And Bryson. Yeah. yeah, Bryson. So, I mean, it, it's just a really good thing. That's that's a really good uh, turn in the corner, you know. Well, I was excited to hear that the great news that he was going there. I knew you knew Jaden because you'd done a story on him, and I thought, you know what? What a great mystery guest to come and break some uh, big news that he just committed to the University of Idaho where his dad was a legend, where his dad played. I think he's second all-time in interceptions, right? Yeah, I mean, he was, he was a big-time baller. He was very good when he played. They played in a couple, uh, like, the Alamo Bowl and some yeah. bowls and things like that. The great thing about that is the fact that, uh, that you know what, he's also a Notre Dame Titan, huh? Yeah. And dude, I wasn't even going to go there. I was going through all the public schools. I thought you, you know who I thought it was? Who? I thought it was Double Deuce. Wait, you thought it was... Oh, uh, no, I take it back. Uh, what's... Uh, what, um, come on, um, the kid over... It, the, I said... Um, wait, Northern Freddie Holly? Yeah, Freddie Holly. I thought it was... We got to get Freddie Holly wait, back on the show. What did we give him a nickname? Um, oh, it was uh, it was 3,000. It was... Uh, 3K? No. Oh, I forget, man. Hey, at any rate, we oh, just blew I'm that sure one he out. knows it. If Freddie Holly, if you're listening to the show right now, you can call in. <laughs> call it because we had him live at Adrenaline doing yeah. a blitz. Yeah. And he uh, he said he could maybe go for 3,000 yards. And I believe it. I believe him. Then it was 3K, I think. So we're gonna take a break right now. But if Freddie Holly calls, we'll put him on the air because uh, he's a good guest as well. When we come back. We're talk more UCLA football training camp and some baseball notes. And once again, yeah, our, our phone connection was a little hanky with uh, with Jaden Gardner there. But we're gonna have Notre Dame in studio on August 22nd. We'll talk more to with Jaden um, at that point. But we wanted to kind of break the news and have a little fun with them. Idaho, they still have 1G connections. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I think we're just lucky to get a phone call out of Idaho at this point. So, <laughs> yeah. It worked. It worked. Uh, it wasn't the greatest, but we'll have them in studio August 22nd. We'll be back here on the Inland Sports Show, Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. If it's good job, Dish.
She's all world. She's a really good athlete. And she's amazing. amazing. Young lady, too. I mean, really amazing. I was so impressed with her. Welcome back to the one and only Inland Sports Show, Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. Proudly brought to you by Adrenaline Athletic Training in Corona and spoiled quick quality oil change right here in Riverside. Once again, we're promoting this because it's a big deal. Bill Navigato, owner of Spoiled. It's He's coming in. August 22nd. He's coming in. And hopefully it's not going to, like I said, backfire on us. We should probably do that with him. I feel yeah. like we're doing some good Why work. Why don't we mess with his head like, oh, he's probably listening. We should talk about that on off air. Yeah. Don't don't uh, <laughs> don't lead him on to anything. Let's let's surprise him. Let's get him in studio. Keep him on his toes. Right? Yeah, he's good, man. He's quick. We'll talk a little baseball. Quick then. quality. So we just had Jaden Gardner here from Notre Dame High School breaking the news on the Inland Sports Show that he committed to the University of Idaho, the Vandals, which is big news, but... Zeke, more importantly, he's following his father's footsteps. Yeah, and you know, and it, the, the cool thing about it is, he said in the interview was number ten, the guy who's wearing number ten currently for the Vandals, is graduating. So this year, after this season, so number ten will be available, and Jaden can wear the same number that his dad wore while he was at the University of, of Idaho. Fantastic for it's kind of like you know, it's that, what we say, everything comes around, you know, full circle, the whole deal. But uh, his dad was a fantastic football player there. Bryson uh, played, played there. And then also he's, he was also really big in this area, helping guys like the one guy that I was going to bring up from Norda Vista. Uh, Freddie Holly. Freddie Holly. Holly train. And, uh, well, he, he, uh, Freddie Holly worked out with, with his dad and, and Jaden and, and that kind of thing. So it's all, that's all really good. But uh, Freddie Holly's not going to call in. He, he's too busy. He might. I said, hey, he's too busy. If you're listening out there, and I know he listens every single Saturday. Oh, he's uh, all right. He can call in. He stops everything he's doing. It's my boy. <laughs> Another one. Listen, I got pictures with him. You know, I, I was holding his. I've got pictures. His with bling. Him. Standing next to him, holding his bling, and just having a good time. He's laughing it up. That <laughs> adrenaline. All right. So before we had our mystery guest, Jaden Gardner, who I should, you know, sorry for the uh, the phone connection. Call from Idaho. Probably really bad up there. I told you, it's only one G up there. He was deep in the woods. I don't know if they even have paved streets. I don't know what's going on up there. But we got the phone call, and Notre Dame will be here in studio on August 22nd. You cut Idaho off at the knees right there. Would you not? It's the 21st century here. This is Southern California. Everyone looks at us, and we just look look down our nose at everybody, right? It's true. It is very true. It's amazing when you go other places how nice people actually are. Also, You never get that in L.A., though. No. You looked the wrong way, and someone's like, what you looking at? I'm like, I was just <laughs> looking over here. What's ironic is I'm from Northern California, where it's probably a lot more like Idaho than it is in Southern California, but... Which, Southern California looks down the nose at Northern California anyways. I, people don't even know above San Francisco and Sacramento, there's a huge chunk of the state. That's God's country. That's my <laughs> homeland. That's, that's, that's just trees. That's just trees. <laughs> like, Greg's like, that's just trees. That's just trees. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, yeah, sons of anarchy. <laughs> well, it's because Southern California stole all the water, so they think that they they got one over on everybody else. We've got it all up there. We've got the trees. We've got the water. We've got Bigfoot. You guys yeah. have Bigfoot down here? I, I'm sure we do. I haven't seen it. <laughs> urban Bigfoot. That's right. right. Yeah, we, we do have an urban Bigfoot. Yes, well, right. no longer. I think that that, that Bigfoot moved down to San moved Diego. On, yeah, moved on <laughs> towards the uh, the Mexican border. Uh, before we had uh, before we had uh, our mystery guest, we were talking UCLA football. They opened training camp this Monday at Cal State San Bernardino. The practices are open to the public. And uh, Zinc just got a text, and he's dying to share it. Jaden's mom just texted me and said, it really is 1G. Hilarious. Oh, see, you were right. <laughs> I told you. Making fun of me about the pay hey, streets hey, and hey, the 1G. And, 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 and Ms. Gardner, I'm telling you right now, I wasn't the one who was cutting Idaho off at the knees. I think that was Pep. Go ahead. Just throw me under the bus. Well, you, you did. I'm just saying, 1G... Dirt roads. You, wait a minute. You come from a part of Northern California where you can drive for miles and see nothing but what? Trees. Great trees. Listen. And you're making fun of Idaho. My hometown did not have a stoplight. I'm telling you, that's 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 a small town. That's small why, town crime. I know. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I can make fun of it because that's pretty much where I'm from. <laughs> Anyways, um, the UCLA football practices are open to the public. So if you want to go out there and check out some of our local guys, check out Jim Mora screaming at the guys. Very intense coach. We've been out there several years in a row now at UCLA training camp. 
very fun to watch, very regimented. You know, they go from, from drill to drill, everything's timed out, there's horns going off. Feels like a rev practice, actually, a Red Lindsay Valley practice. But we've got Kenny Clark, who called the show last week, UCLA star defensive tackle, who's getting a lot of praise. I mean, all these like preseason All American watch lists. Kenny Clark's on him. You can't you can't deny him. He's I mean, come on, he's a beast. Between him and Vanderdose on the defensive line, jeez. Uh, Vinny Fazio said, uh, "Good luck going one on one with that guy, he, double team." And, I, and then I stole a line from Vinny Fazio, the head football coach at Ramona, and turned it back to him and said. Can you use weapons? Because he asked me that one time. I said, how do you stop? I think it was actually Freddie Holly. It was. How do you stop Freddie Holly in Norta Vista? And he's like, you can't. Or can you use weapons? <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Freddie Fazio is the best. Uh, so well, uh, uh, to quote uh, Bill Murray and Caddyshack, if you cut their, cut their tendons right behind their ankles, they'll never be the same. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, so he was talking about Freddie Holly in that instant. So if Freddie Holly wants to call the show, if he's out there, we'd love to have him. Um, we got Craig Lee running back from Redlands, intern Nick's oh, a Redlands yeah. guy. We've got Powasi Mawala, a big offensive lineman out of the Rancho Verde. Nate Metters, of course, defensive back out of San Gorgonio High School, was making a huge first impression with UCLA. Guy could and he's him. the double deuce. He is. He's the double deuce. He wears 22 for UCLA. That's right. I forgot about that. And then uh, Sean Bird, a linebacker from out of Great Oak, from out of nowhere. I, I know the name. Yeah, so, uh, so we got some local guys out there at UCLA camp, so we're excited about um, going out there and you know having that IE flavor to UCLA. Of course, you know Zink's over here grinning ear to ear because he loves UCLA, but it just adds a little extra when you're like, you know what, I, I saw that guy in high school, or that guy's really you know doing some big things at the Pac-12 level. Well, it's kind of funny because when UCLA comes out here, it's like they're coming to the hinterland to. You know, it's like a camping trip for them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like isolation. That's what they want. They want to get away from everything. They want to, you know, sleep in the dorms, focus solely on football. They probably do a little team bonding stuff, you know, because there's nothing else to do. Play video games and hang out and do fun things together. They run through Muscoy to pick up their pace. Yeah. <laughs> a little training out on the streets, right? Oh, Muscoy. Nice. A little, little road work. So that uh, begins Monday, runs through August 22nd. The practices are open to the public. And then the final practice, which is Saturday, August 22nd, uh, it's like Fan Appreciation Day. So there'll be some goodies and stuff. And I'm sure that some of the players and, and uh, Coach Moore will be mingling with uh, the fans in attendance. So that'll be fun. For, uh, I, be I believe football. that same uh, August the 22nd, uh, Kawhi Leonard is having his basketball camp. I've been told I need to go out there and... Where is that? I'll have to get I'll get the information. I obviously could just come back from vacation, but I was told that I needed to uh, go out there and do something on it. Is this an annual thing that Kawhi does? I locally? believe so. I believe so. Well, I'll find out. I'll come back next week with a report. How about that? More details to come. Yes. Leave us in suspense. That's right. And I'll have another mystery guest for you That's next week. That's a tease. That's a tease. That's a tease. And I'll tease uh, our mystery guest for next week. <laughs> so I'm, I'm assuming now that, uh, that Heritage is not going to be here? Uh, I guess not. I, if Coach Broach, if you're listening out there, I'm going to text Coach Broach. Uh, please have these guys run gassers, what, bleachers, whatever you guys do at Heritage, uh, H-Town. Just don't hurt poor Brett. <laughs> yeah. Come it's, on. In his pretty face. He, right? he, he's got a crowd. I mean, uh, the, the girls do not like to see Brett sweating. Or maybe they do. Whoa. Maybe they do. I don't know what that means, but okay. So I'm going to hit up Coach Broach, because Coach Broach, a man of his word, Look at me. Do I, don't I look like a man of my word? When I say something, I mean it. So when I say Brett's going to be there, Brett's going to run gassers. He's going to run bleachers. I'm going to have him run down uh, Highway 74, probably that gas station, get me a Mountain Dew, and all run the all way, the way back. All the way to Taquitz High School and back. I mean it. Hey, we got a phone call. Let's uh -oh. go back. Let's go back to the spoiled, quick, quick quality oil change celebrity hotline, and uh, let's find out who's here, because I'm sure he's a celebrity. Is this Freddie Hawley? Oh, it's the legend, Freddie Holly, checking in here on the Inland Sports Show. Now, Freddie, we've been doing this bit where we have a mystery guest, and we yeah. we have to ask questions and like try to find out the identity of someone. And we have David Zink here, and his first guess was, "Oh man, I hope it's Freddie Holly from Norda Vista." <laughs> well, when we got when we got to Riverside and football player, I thought the, the next the next uh, logical answer would be Freddie Holly because you're going to be the tip toast of the town this year, right? Yep, yes, sir. See? I knew it. Hey, congratulations on the preseason all, uh, Parade All-American. Yep, appreciate it. That's fantastic. Trying to get it, yep. 
And Freddie, you just committed to uh, Arizona State University not too long ago. Are you yeah. excited to commit to the Sun Devils? Yeah. And it's, I can sit back here, man. They're, they've been like a big part of my life ever since, like, my 10th grade year, how I told you before, how I came up there. The show, they're like family to me. But yeah, I'm excited about that. Now, now that you know that Arizona State, they have some fancy. Have you seen the uh, vertical striped? Uh, yeah. White and uh, what is it? White and like burnt orange. Yeah, the pants. white. And, uh, you yeah, know, you would crazy. probably you, you would probably style in those, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm I'm excited for that too. They got up in the stuff with that. I'm excited. Now, you guys are up and coming, man. You're going to a program right when it's getting to the peak. Exactly. They're going to start rolling. Oh, yeah. with, with Freddie Holly for sure. But, <laughs> and think about this: Colton Gerhardt from Norco handing the ball off to Freddie Holly. How's that yeah, sound? I know. Yeah, exactly. Some some inland car legends. Now, did, some, now, didn't we nickname you 3K? Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure because we, we got mixed up on that one because because uh, you 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 said you might actually go for 3,000 yards this year. Yeah. I know it's just bold talk. It'd be great to see. But uh, talk about um, you know, you know Jaden Gardner, right? Yeah, that's my brother. Yeah, and, and and his dad was was instrumental when you were younger in getting you trained properly to to, uh, exactly. to play football and the whole deal. I mean, Bryson, you heard about what Jaden did, right? He just got it. So I mean, they're fantastic. So shout out to Jaden. You, you, anything you want to say to him? I know he's listening to the show right now. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to uh, give a shout out to my little big bro. We've been working together since forever. Since we even barely started high school. And his father being there, they, his whole family had a big impact on my life and my playing and stuff like that. So, yeah, congratulations, bro. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. And he's going to be wearing his dad's number, number 10, up at, up at Idaho. Yeah. yeah. So, may, hey, I don't know if you guys will actually get on the schedule together, but maybe you guys might hook up in college and play against each other. Yeah, possibly. I mean, that not those early non-conference games? I don't, think, yeah. I don't think you want to go up the middle when Jaden's playing there because he might <laughs> knock you backwards a little bit. <laughs> Well, Freddie. So friendly. Hey, Freddie. We appreciate you listening to the show and uh, and calling in here. You're, you're one of our favorites, man. And we'll we'll catch up again soon. We just want to have a little fun with you and have you call in real quick. Yeah, okay, sounds good. Have a good one, yeah. All Take right. Care. Thanks, Freddie. Yes, no problem. See, Freddie Holly, the Holly train, calling See? in on the Inland Sports Show. I got show. dudes. You got dudes. See, that was awesome, Freddie Holly. I'm calling in here. I'm standing in his corner. See? <laughs> good old 3K. 3K. Hey, a couple of quick baseball notes because we're quickly running out of time here. Uh, the Little League Western Regional yeah. uh, starts tomorrow, actually. It starts tomorrow and it runs through, I think it's next Saturday. It does. Winter uh, from yep. the West and Northwest go on to uh, Williamsport for the Little League World Series. Exactly. It's like two It's two regionals in one. So it's the 45th year San Bernardino is hosted. So this is a long tradition locally in the Inland Empire. So I'm going to head out there for a little bit and check that out. Aaron Brooks, Oakland A's pitcher. We had him on the show last week. And that was just hours before he made his Oakland A's debut, went out there, tossed a gym for his first big league victory. Do you think Aaron Brooks was done? No. Not a chance. Followed that up against the Astros. How about another seven innings, just four hits, one earned run, seven strikeouts. Dealing. He's finding a home in that Oakland A's rotation for sure. So shout out to Aaron Brooks. And um, next week on the show, we've got more high school football chatter coming. We've got a mystery guest I have in mind. I've reached out to this person. We're trying to work out the exact time and if we can make this happen. I actually did pretty well this time. You did. I, I gotta make. Should I make it more tough? No, I, I. I don't know, man. I just think I'm good at it. Oh. Yeah. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll take your daughter's so, oh. natural. We can do natural mystery deal. Intern Nick says he, he, you're a natural. <laughs> I had no clue. Well, we'll we'll get Intern Nick into the mix next week. And uh, try to get a guy that maybe you both recognize. Oh, I'm coming for you, Zane. Actually, you know what? Oh, oh, look at this. You know what? Maybe we should keep a season scoreboard. Who gets the mystery guest it's every one, week? It, I, I got a 1 0 right now. All right, we'll give you that one. Oh, I'm the comeback kid. You better watch that. <laughs> <laughs> it's her dick, man. man I, I, we haven't seen him in a couple months. Angel he's heads back. to Vegas for, for one weekend, and now all of a sudden he's no longer on the show. We got I'm Nick back, now. Baby. <laughs> so, intern Nick, world famous intern angel, David Zink, and, and Greg can guess as well because he, he knows his sports. Greg, and we'll see. We'll see. We'll play this for a month or two and see who's got the most. Uh, How about that? I, I'm up. The show is proudly brought to you by Spoiled Quick Quality Oil Change in Riverside. Bill Navagato, we'll see you on August 22nd right here in studio. And Adrenaline Athletic Training in Corona. Shout out to the boy wearing number 27 at Wet and Wild in Palm Springs yesterday, if you're listening. Love seeing uh, Adrenaline represented all over the place, so that's really cool to see. So, uh, 
It's a good show, a little all over the map. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit up Coach Broach right now. We changed lanes really quick, dude. We did. That's what we do. We, call, we get to the line. We're like, this is what we're going to do. Get to the line. Oh, audible, audible. <laughs> Blue. Oh, oh, Omaha. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, exactly. Peyton Manning style. So we'll do it again next Saturday here on the Inland Sports Show, Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. Thank <laughs> you.